time for some science on the programme and today we're talking about a global first. Swiss researchers have enabled three paraplegic patients to stand and walk again thanks to electronic implants and artificial intelligence software. For patients, the procedure is truly life-changing, as Soulange Mujan now reports. It may look like a shaky first step, but for Michel Rocati, it is absolutely life-changing, not to mention a worldwide first. Five years ago, he was in a motorcycle accident. It completely severed his spinal cord, leaving him paralyzed. But now he's walking again, thanks to a nerve stimulation device that sends pulses to the brain and muscles. Researchers at the Swiss Federal Institute of Technology joined forces with a Dutch tech company to create a six centimeter spinal implant. Just hours after insertion, Michel and the two other paraplegics in the study could stand. But the device, which is controlled by a touchscreen tablet, does take time to get used to. The more they train, the more they start building muscles and the more fluid it becomes and they understand what they have to do and they learn to work with this technology. The device does not repair spinal cord injuries. It stimulates damaged nerves that otherwise weren't able to send strong enough messages to the brain. And it's allowed the three participants to walk, swim, bike and climb stairs. And if the findings prove correct in peer review, it could be a breakthrough for paraplegics. In about a year, we will start a pivotal clinical trial, primarily in the U.S., in order to test this technology in a large number of individuals, probably up to 70 to 100 individuals. For Michel Rocati, being able to cross a bridge, let alone stand on his own two feet and look someone in the eye, they have been huge steps forward. A miracle of sorts, <laughs> thanks to science and technology. Well, covering all of this is our health and science edit editor, Julia Seeger, who's with me in the studio. And Julia, um, there are other types of implants that are being used as well to help paraplegics walk again. Um, Neuralink is one of them. It's being produced by Elon Musk. Exactly. What we saw in the report were spinal cord implants, but there are indeed neural implants. Uh, we tend to call them brain-machine interface. And what it is, is is a system that actually connects directly your brain to a computer, thanks to a microchip that's implanted in your brain. And so it's going to enable, for instance, a patient to control a computer remotely, but also uh, perhaps, and that's the goal, an exoskeleton, uh, without even using his limbs or without using the peripheral nerves or even the muscles. So this is actually a pretty incredible. There are many such projects out there, and perhaps uh, the most uh, famous of all is a Neuralink by uh, Elon Musk, of course. Now, several months ago, they actually published this video online of this monkey called Pager. Uh, it's a nine-month macaque that is playing uh, the game of Pong, but only with his mind. So what you're seeing here is the macaque actually, uh, he's a, he has a straw in his mouth, but he's actually getting a reward, which is a, a banana smoothie. But what he's doing is he's playing the game only by the power of his his mind because he has a microchip that's implanted in his brain. Now, of course, Elon Musk says that the end goal is to help, of course, people who have serious uh, spinal cord injuries walk again, because if this were to be connected to an exoskeleton, it would enable, uh, you know, uh, a patient to actually walk again and use his limbs. Now, not everyone agrees that Elon Musk will succeed uh, in, in this venture, but the tech mogul is more and more confident about it. He just tweeted about the fact that in 2022, uh, he intends to start uh, uh, um, clinical trials on humans. So, so this is a huge step. Uh, some think some of course, think this is great. Other thinks that this is uh, terrifying because the ultimate goal, of course, is not just for medical purposes, but it's to get to this point where uh, closer to augmented and bionic humans. Yeah, whether it's good or bad news is extremely interesting, Julia. So thanks for telling us about that. Now, another device that is already changing the lives of people who are paraplegic is something called an exoskeleton. Tell us about that. Well, what's for sure is that this device that I just spoke about is not possible without an exoskeleton and without the developments that we've seen in, the, in wearable robots uh, today. Uh, they're really helping change the lives of, of many people. Just to give you an estimate, in the United States alone, you have one out of 50 people who suffer from some kind of a paralysis. And uh, indeed, those exoskeletons are absolutely fascinating. But of course, as you saw in the report, uh, you still need, of course, someone to help you out with a tablet to help you make those movements. So 
this is why the the uh, the uh, brain machine interface is so interesting. But the problem is that it's very invasive. You're implanting a chip in someone's brain, and of course there are risks of infection. And this is why other uh, scientists, uh, let's say in France, are looking at other systems where the electrodes are not inside the brain, but it's semi-invasive, so it's on the outer membrane, uh, and that's actually uh, it seems to be working quite well. All right, we'll have to leave it there, but thanks very much indeed. Thank Julia you, Julia Seeger for us on the programme.